Hello, my friend. How are you today? Today, I wanted to share my experience, how I was able to move from regret to great gratitude so that you can use my experience and not make the same mistakes that I have and you can fasten your progress. So what I've noticed was that I had eaten more chocolate than I had planned. And of course, I was filled with regret because I was thinking I shouldn't have eaten so much chocolate. I shouldn't have eaten extra chocolate, right? And that's the thought that was making me feel regret. And what I noticed was that when I felt that regret, I was trying to make the evidence, the, the, the chocolate that was left over, disappear so that there was there would be no more evidence, right? It's like the, the murderer trying to... Uh, hide the the weapon so that it, uh, it doesn't get ca caught and so this is exactly what I was doing when I was feeling regret and I was not taking into account of course my sensations the fact that my stomach was heavy I was feeling a bit disgusted with the chocolate I of course was not hungry but I was not taking care of that I was only focusing on the chocolate and uh, the making it disappear so I was forgetting also my plan my plan, which is right now to focus on my macros, but I was, um, I've been dieting for so long. So those are plans when I feel regret because I'm thinking I shouldn't have had more, those plans go out of the window. I completely forget them. I also completely forget why I want to follow those plans, which is to say maybe it's weight loss, maybe it's fat loss, maybe it's uh, muscle gain. Right? or feeling simply better, I completely forget that when I'm in that spiral of regret. And I only think about what I should have done instead of what I did do and I want to do. So it's as if I'm only focusing on the past, trying to fantasize about it, trying to make it better. Even though, even though of course, we cannot go back in time. We cannot rewrite <laughs> uh, the past. I was thinking about uh, Back to the Future, of course, and from what I know, it's still fantasy. So even though my brain's going there, I know that it's not possible. And yet, this is what I do when I'm feeling regret because I'm thinking I shouldn't have eaten extra chocolate. And so when I'm doing this, because of the regret I'm feeling, the result is that I completely disconnect from myself. I disconnect from reality, from what I want, from what I'm doing, from what I'm experiencing. I'm not there anymore. It's fascinating, isn't it? And when I made the switch to gratitude, it changed everything for me. So here's what happened. So of course, the circumstances hadn't changed. I still had eaten extra chocolate, but I chose to see it completely differently so that it would serve me. Right? Instead of making the chocolate disappear and regretting even more, I chose to feel gratitude. And it's because I chose to think the thought, this is an opportunity for me, right? When I was able to step into that sentence to believe that, this is an opportunity for me, then I feel I felt grateful, right? And when I felt grateful, what was fantastic is that then I knew without a doubt that I was going to gain something from it. I was going to learn something from it. So I was exploring the different options because I was feeling great, grateful. I was also being more patient. In the first uh, experience when I was feeling regret, I was eating the chocolate as fast as possible to make it disappear. But when I was feeling grateful, because I was purposefully choosing to think this is an opportunity for me, I was waiting, I was expecting, I was not trying to rush, trying to change my experience. And I was also not blaming myself, right? I was being fully aware that yes, I had done something that was not on plan and that was okay, right? That was just me experiencing the human emotion, the human experience of having a plan and doing something else from time to time. Of course, that's what we do, whether our plan is about time management or um, any other experience or eating. Yes, of course, it's normal to have slip ups from time to time, perfectly normal, right? We're not supposed to be perfect, whatever perfect means. So when I was feeling great, grateful, I was also remembering that I was not alone in this experience, I was remembering Nelson Mandela. He said, I either win or learn. So either I do it, in my case, it would be either I follow the plan or I use that as an opportunity to grow and evolve and build from there, right? So I was anticipating that I would progress more and more from that place of gratitude, right? And I was also remembering my goal, right? It all made sense. It was part, this slip up was part of the puzzle. It was part of the equation. So I was um, using that uh, experience as 
part of my success story. I was already focusing, seeing on the horizon, me achieving my goal of feeling lighter, feeling stronger, feeling healthier for my 50th birthday, and also uh, having learned from that experience. So of course, when I was feeling gra gra gratitude from that experience, because I was choosing to think about it, this is an opportunity opportunity for me. As a result, I was actually benefit benefiting from my experience and I was making progress. I was uh, moving forward. So this can be very useful for you to know that we can switch from regret to gratitude. And sometimes we go back and forth between the two. We are in regret and then we're feeling grateful, but then we go back to regret because we're still thinking and believing somehow I shouldn't have eaten that extra chocolate, right? And then we may be able to move back to, oh, but this is an opportunity for me. What is there for me to learn? Why is this a gift? And it's perfectly normal. That's what we call the cognitive dissonance when we go back and forth between two things that we kind of believe at the same time, but not fully, right? So this is perfectly normal and this is what we experience until then we choose to believe one thought. In my case, I do want to believe that this is an opportunity for me. And it's so much easier and easier as time goes by to believe that this is an opportunity for me. Whereas blaming myself, judging myself, regretting never leads me to anything productive, constructive. So I now see more and more that this is an opportunity for me, is a mantra that's actually helpful for me. So that can even be useful for you if you want to feel better immediately because gratitude feels so much better than regret. And also it can be very useful for you if you choose to, you know, try to move onto a different emotion than regret, because then we also notice that um, I, was, I don't need to seek comfort in more chocolate because I'm not feeling desperate or um, discouraged or defeated, right? I'm feeling gratitude. And when I'm feeling gratitude, I don't need food, right, to compensate for my feelings. So that's also a good thing to know. And also, I'm really using this lesson and this ability to move from regret to gratitude to learn and to progress even more, right? To go even faster towards this goal of being lighter, healthier, stronger for my 50th birthday, because that's what I want. So I hope me sharing my experience of, you know, following my plan and not following my plan can help you. Because if you want to eat what you said you eat, to get stronger than ever, to lose the fight, to gain muscle, to be healthier, then yes, it is possible. It is possible one step at a time, one thought, one emotion at a time. And this is what I love doing with my clients and with myself too. It's a lot of pleasure to learn more about us. So sticking to a plan can be very simple, actually. You simply plan, you eat what you've planned, and then you check that you've eaten what you planned. And from that checking, we get to celebrate what went right, and we get to learn and tweak what didn't go as planned, right? That's it. I love doing that job, you know, of adjusting, adapting, adopting, moving forward, because we know there are many bumps in the road, on the road, even when you're feeling super committed. And those bumps can stop you or help you make even further progress. And those bumps can be simply when you're tired, when there's a cookie that was not expected that maybe your partner brought in, when you're feeling hungry, because of course that's part of the story, that's part of the human experience, or when we, you're dining out, or when you're not noticing any progress on the scale, or when you had planted something, but something happens and maybe the can won't open, or somebody's eaten it before you. All these, and there are so many other you know, little challenges, all these can either derail your progress or strengthen your commitment to actually achieve your goal, right? And so that's what I love doing with my clients. So if you want help customized to your specific needs, to your specific challenges and to your particular food plan, to reach your unique goals, of course, I'm here for you and can, I can help you. And so my program is called Conquer the Food Cra Your Food Cravings for Good. It's the only one-to-one -one online coaching program for coaches who want to finally follow their food plans with no force, with no deprivation, so that they get the health and the body that they want, right? If you want to get strong, 
lighter, uh, healthier, I'm here for you. Because imagine, imagine no longer going from one extreme, like obsessing about your food plan 24 seven to the other end, completely ignoring your food plan and instead binging on all your favorite food. Imagine that being possible. Imagine no longer really feeling bad in your body, you know, the heaviness, bloated, sluggish sensations when we've overeaten. But imagine also no longer feeling those emotions we talked about today, like the shame, the guilt, the regret. Imagine no longer questioning your, your coaching tools. Do they even work? Right? Imagine no longer doing that. Imagine no longer hiding from your clients out of fear that they might find out the ugly truth about you, that they might find out that you're not perfect, that you're simply a normal human being. Imagine, imagine that. Instead, I want you to imagine knowing deep down in your, in, your, in your bones that whenever you have a slip up, of course, you'll get back on track. Not next Monday, not next uh, full moon, but immediately, all right? Immediately, you'll go back, even if you've had eaten a slice of pizza or the whole pizza, because you're going to feel more empowered than ever as you do so. You're going to learn from that experience. You're going to use it as an opportunity and you're going to move forward even faster than ever because you've learned something. And that's what I help my clients do. So imagine feeling so good in your body, light, energized, as if you were invincible. Imagine feeling super proud of your muscles or your toned body so that you show it off, you know, in your cute new clothes on social media, for instance, or on the beach. Imagine being more present when you coach your clients so your coaching gets even better and you're so confident that you magnetize new clients, right? Because you're a product of your product. You say and you do that, that this is a line. So you show up in your marketing completely certain that these coaching tools work for you, for your people, and that you can help anyone achieve their goals. Imagine how happy your clients will be to renew and to send you more referrals. And of course, as a result, you'll make more money. So there's two, there are two steps in the conquer your food cravings for good. There's the yes of the coin and there's the no side of the coin. Let me explain. So when you think about a food plan, the first side is to say yes. You say yes to your food plan and your dream, right? Your goal. Build the self-trust that you can eat what you said you would eat. And on the other side, there's the saying no to food temptations, no to their repercussions, right? The, the, the sluggishness, we talked about the heaviness, the regret, the shame, the guilt, the weight gain. But, and we do that by understanding why you want the extra food so that we can decrease that desire so that it's super easy then to decline the food effortlessly. So conquer your food cravings for good. Here are the details. It's a one-to-one -one program. It's online. It lasts three months. Included in those three months are 12 30-minute private coaching calls and unlimited written or audio coaching between the sessions Monday through Friday. Through Friday. The investment is 1,100 euros for three times if you decide to use the payment plan, that is to say 3,300 euros total, or you save 300 euros if you choose to pay in full because it's only 3,000 euros. So, you know you want to eat what you said you, you, you did. You know you want to get stronger than ever. You know that it can be as simple as plan, eat, check. You know you can overcome the challenges that are part of any journey. And you know you want the support of a coach with a kind and logical approach. So your next step is to book your free Crave Control Consultation call with me so that we can step into that future version of you and what getting stronger than ever means for you will look like for you. And then what we also do is we find out what's really stopping you from eating what you said you would eat and getting stronger than ever. And I guarantee you that it has nothing to do with you. It's not that you're lazy. It's not that you like willpower, nothing like that. Right. And then we can create a clear blueprint customized to your needs so that you can get to your goals no matter what. And then I, get, I answer all the questions that you may have about working with me so that then, that's the final stop, you make a clear decision that you like. Are you going to work with me or not? And that's okay. Either answer is fine so long as you love it, right? So that's it. If, you, if you're interested, if you want to work with me and, you know, overcome all the challenges on your fat loss and game and muscle building journey, I can help you simply... Click the link below and I'm happy to see you soon. Take care. Bye.